hello. Today we're going to talk about the valveless pulse jet. In particular, the Lockwood Hillier design. This is probably the simplest form of jet propulsion device. It has no moving parts consisting of a specially shaped hollow tube. This is the inlet. This is the combustion chamber with spark plug. And this is the exhaust. Fuel is introduced into the combustion chamber where it is initially ignited by the spark plug. The exploding hot gas escapes in both directions, leaving the combustion chamber a negative pressure compared to atmosphere. This draws in more air, which mixes with the fuel. Due to the unequal lengths of the inlet and exhaust pipes, when the explosion takes place in the combustion chamber, the gas from the exhaust pulses backwards and reignites the fuel-air mixture causing the whole cycle to start again. Although referred to as a valveless jet engine, the returning column of hot gas acts as a valve and piston, compressing the fuel-air mixture, which gives the engine its distinctive sound. In a pulse jet, the air-fuel mixture doesn't burn at a continuous rate like in other jet engines, but in a series of explosions. This increases the uh, pressure inside the combustion chamber, increasing combustion efficiency. We're now going to conduct a test to measure the thrust produced by the engine while running on propane gas or liquid. We've set it up on a rolling platform with a bathroom scale to be able to measure the amount of thrust produced. As well as measuring the thrust, we're also going to record the noise level and the temperature. We will run the first test with the back gas bottle upright. We will then invert it, which will supply liquefied gas, and then compare the readouts. Ready?
How do you go? I'm not sure what it's not. Getting a bit of flame, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure where that is. But it died on all that field, didn't it? Is that what it is? It cut out? Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. So that was on inverted in you? That was in the... Oh, screw <laughs> <laughs> it. the polystyrene. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why we got this. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah, no, to it. Not very good, is it? No. Are you sure? Well, a building with a polystyrene ceiling and a pulse jet was never really going to be a very good mix, so we've set up a, a rig outside to conduct the liquid test. We also ditched the epoxy electronic spark igniter and made something much more suitable. scales and it briefly said 25 kilo um, we had to freeze frame it to get that um, and there's a car getting past no it's the van it's the, the school bus um, yeah so the 25 kilo of thrust about it's about 55 pounds of thrust which is probably about right for this size engine I reckon mm. um, <laughs> and it was running at um, eight hundred degrees constantly, most of the fuel times, wasn't it? Oh yeah, about eight hundred degrees. Yeah, yeah, no matter what setting you have it on, really. But, um, what were the um, noise, the decibel? Uh, no, how loud was it on half throttle? Ah, oh, that was humongously loud. Yeah. Yeah. What? And what about full throttle? Oh, that was even more fucking humongously, very, very loud. What, louder than... Uh, uh, louder than that? No. No? Okay. No, but it did smell better. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your turn. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so... If we can get it running on liquid, um, it, that should be good. 55 pounds of thrust because we've got some projects planned for it. Yeah. Which, uh, which should be good. And much. to that end, I'm uh, working on putting, instead of just a nozzle there, well, right there, I'm going to put a rail through with several holes in, like good old Colin Fersey does, and that should hopefully allow us to get the liquid directly into the chamber there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that was it. That is it. Yeah, okay. Bye, Rob. Bye.